After watching this video, you'll learn how to set up a verification system like this to help keep your Discord server secure, and I'll even show you how to get it working with Discord's new onboarding feature. First, click the link in the description and it will take you to Sapphire's homepage, where you can click add to Discord and select your server along with accept all the permissions. Then we're going to hop into Discord and do all the roles and permissions so that part's all taken care of. We're going to create two roles for this, unverified and verified, and you'll see why we do that a little bit later on, but make sure the verified role is above the unverified one, and then click save. Then in our channel permissions, we want to make it so unverified can't view any channel other than the verification one. As an example, our home channel, I'll allow verified to view it and read message history, but not be able to send any messages. And the unverified role shouldn't be able to view it at all. Do this with all of your channels apart from the verified channel, which we do the opposite to. So making verified not see the channel at all, and unverified people be able to not send messages, be able to view the channel, and also read message history. A common problem which completely beats the idea of having one of these is the visibility of this channel after people verify, so make sure that's hidden from verified users and they don't appear in the member list. We also need to ensure that the everyone role can see at least seven channels and can send a message in five, by creating this unverified role, it pretty much cancels this out so it doesn't really matter what you select, but ensure that it's done so onboarding can work. We're also going to need a log channel which needs to be hidden from the public and only visible to staff, so you might want to create that if you haven't got one already. We're pretty much prepared now to create the system and so on Sapphire's dashboard, click the messages tab and then we're going to create around 12 templates. To make it a bit easier for you, visit Discord Mastery's resources page and you'll see a verification system file which you can download for free by creating a free account and include all the templates used in this video along with a huge file with all the different capture images that you can use. We're first going to create our initial verification message that will be the main one that's sent that people will interact with every single time. I'll just copy that from the template pack like this. So you go into raw, copy the code from there and then you can see it's pretty much done for you. We then need a message to post when a user has completed the verification and what I usually like to do is give the user a next step which they can take which could be like an introduction channel or an information one. We'll talk more about the onboarding later on but you might want to include that within the copy. Next we're going to have to create three failed message templates which is the message that gets sent if the person does a verification incorrectly. Sapphire doesn't allow you to have the same template multiple times within like a a drop down menu and so we're going to create three failed ones which are all going to be the exact same just like this. We're now going to set the logging messages which we'll need a success log message for when someone passes a verification which I'll just use from the template and then we need three failed ones for the same reason I mentioned before. Finally we're going to create our own capture message. You can have as many of these as you'd like but I'm just going to do three for this video which again you can copy from the template file but just change the image each time. When it comes to putting your capture image, I would send it to a friend or an alt account, then right click and copy the link. Make sure you don't delete this image though as it will just mess up the whole system. I'll do the same thing again another two times but use different capture images. Now we just need to create the components and then tie all of these things together. Click messages and select components and we're going to create a capture menu first. This will have four different options, a successful option and then three failed options. For successful we want to make it edit the message and select our past verification message. We then want to send a channel message to our verification log to let staff know that they've passed verification. So you want to select the success log template and add the role verified and then remove the role unverified. Now for the failed options you'll see why we created three different templates. We want to send a message and select the first fail and then a send channel message will go to verification and will be the first failed log. We then need to do this on the other two, but make sure it's a different failed message and a failed log, else it won't work. So that's the capture menu finished. Now we just got to create our buttons, which would include the first button they press to verify, which I'll call capture one, which will then send our first capture template. Then we want to create our skip verification option, which will send a different capture. I like to give people an option in case they're just stuck on one, so I'll be making two skip verifications like this, but ensuring it's an edit message and sending capture two on this one, and then capture three on this one here. Now all we need to do is add these components to our templates. But before that, I've recently released a free community called Discord Mastery, which you can join now and it will help level up your Discord skills. We've got a bunch of live events, calls, and is your go-to if you want a successful Discord server this year. 
simply click the link in the description or go to thediscordmastery.com and I'll see you inside. So now we're going to go back to the messages tab, select templates and go to the first verification message. We'll be adding a click to verify button, which we can do by adding an action row, clicking button, giving it some text and an icon if you wish. You want to click the cog and select the action to be capture one. Now we want to go to our first capture and add these two action rows. One is going to be the drop down menu, which is that capture menu we created earlier. And the other is going to be the skip button, which will give the user the option to go to the next capture. On the drop down, create four different options and on the cog, select our capture menu and assign the right action to what number they're supposed to click. It's important that you look at your capture image and set the right action for each option as the answer is probably going to differ on every single capture. For example, on this option, two is the correct answer and so we'll be making that successful and the other three will be fails, which you can select just like this. We then want to create a skip or refresh button, which will bring up the next capture if they happen to be unsure, which we can do by clicking the cog and on the action select skip verification. On our second capture, we want to do the exact same thing, but just make sure that the right option is selected in that menu. For example, in this case, number three is the correct answer. And so we assign number three as success and the others as fails. We do our skip button, but make it go to the final capture just like this. And on our final capture, we just need one action row, which is going to be the drop down menu, as they won't be able to skip to any more captures unless you want to have more than three. The final button which we're going to create is adding that step which they take after they're successfully verified that I spoke about at the start of the video. Click the verified template and add a button and make the style a link. Then in your introduction channel or your information channel or even just general chat, just right click the name, copy the link and then paste this into that button. The last thing we need to do is set a join role which will grant a new user with the unverified role every single time that they join, which will allow us then to use onboarding. Simply click join roles and select unverified as the role and then untick the option to wait for users to pass role screening. Now all you need to do is send the verification message which you can do by going to the messages tab, templates, find the initial verification message and then clicking the use tab, send and then select the channel and click send message. A quick trick to send it with a form of custom branding is by going to the messages tab and then opening send command message. Click use a webhook and pop a link to your icon in there and then give your bot a name and then just click save. Then head to default messages and search for send message command. Click the pencil and then go to the edit tab and click load. Load the main verification message and then click save. Then go to your verification channel in Discord and run the command s exclamation mark send one. This should then send your message. You just got to delete the other two messages around it and it should be good. Just to show you this finished result. So when someone first joins, they go through the new onboarding feature and they only then see the verification channel. Once they complete the verification process, it grants them the verified role. And then when they click the button, it takes them to the channel that you chose before. Now, if you want to learn how you can add the onboarding feature to your Discord and set it up in the most efficient way, then click the video on the screen now and hit the subscribe button for more Discord content.